Rebel Codebreaker Review. This blaster is a bow or band power blaster in the Rebel line. Included is the blaster, the bow arms that come detached, the stock, instructions, a few Rebel darts that are all different colors, and the decoder. And of course the Rebel decoder allows you to read the cool print on some of the Rebel darts. The bow arms you can just be pushed into the front, and you can hear a nice confirming click. And the elastic bowstring needs to be clicked into the bow arm here. And the stock, which is also just pushed into place. Starting with the front, these massive bow arms are sort of necessary for function, but they don't bend like a traditional bow would. An elastic string is connected to the bow arm. This elastic string is actually what's powering your dart, so if you cut that, your blaster will no longer work. Down below is the priming handle. It seems oversized, it's very comfortable. Moving up here is the cylinder. To load, you sort of push darts in. Loading is not especially fast, um, but it works. There's no way to make the cylinder pop out, so you just have to rotate it a little bit to get to the hidden barrels. Moving up, there's an in strike rail right here, so you can mount any optics. The trigger is pretty simple. It does feel a little weird because you're releasing a band and not a spring, but it's comfortable. The grip is really small, but I don't really have any complaints even with my massive hand. The thumb hole stock is not especially comfortable for a large hand, but my wrist just bangs into that. Uh, but the thumb hole stock is pretty cool. And then nothing really going on with the stock over here. But if you saw these things, it's called a code breaker because you can set a code for the blaster to disable it unless you input the code. This is a pretty cool gimmick in theory, but only the, the middle one actually works. So you can rotate the outer ones and it can be any code you want. So you move to a massive amount of combinations into 10. So it's only zero through nine and it's only the center one. So if you forget your password, just hold down the trigger and rotate that, it'll eventually fire. If you like stole your friend's blaster and they had it locked and this review just ruined it, now you can just feel like a super elite hacker. <laughs> like, oh snap, I forgot my password. Oh, but it's locked. Let's just spin the thing. There it is. It's not going to disable anybody who has access to the manual because it explains exactly what I just said um, from actually using your toy, but it's a pretty cool gimmick. And yes, I do believe that explanation warranted that amount of time considering the name of the blaster is Codebreaker. And you're like, what the F? Why is a bow called a Codebreaker? Now you know. So firing the blaster is pretty cool. Firing crossbow with the really unique lack of sound, just fup, and it sounds really quiet, um, is definitely pretty cool. But the average velocity taken over 10 elite darts was only 61 feet per second, which is quite a bit lower than the elite standard of around 70 feet per second. So that's a bit disappointing that the performance is sort of bad. Other than the low firing velocity, loading this thing is not especially fast because the cylinder doesn't pop out. And for whatever reason, they completely covered the cylinder. All of this plastic is not mechanically necessary. So you could have just opened up that loading port so it would make loading faster but they didn't for some reason. Not really sure why they did it that way, but I disagree with it. It's kind of slow. It's slower than it needs to be, essentially. I don't think somebody would buy a crossbow like this with eight dart cylinder if you're going after maximum performance, so I suppose my argument is irrelevant. But I'm still gonna complain because I'm in it to win it. <laughs> but those are really my only two complaints, um, although those are kind of the only two things going on with this blaster that are somewhat unique. Take that as you will. So hopefully my opinion and review gave you all the information you need to make an informed decision. If you are interested in purchasing one, there is a purchase link in the description box below. Otherwise, uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.